Hey everybody, Ty Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. Hopefully everyone's safe. Last 72 hours have been uh, pretty wild here. If we actually go ahead and look through all the reports starting from the 13th, we have currently 29 tornado reports and this is still being updated real time. So this number still could rise actually. But the 13th was pretty active. And then we had the following day, the 14th, which was the big day, the outbreak, so to speak. In total, we had, if I remember correctly, almost 800 severe reports, 23 of those being tornadoes, and the ones that have been most infamous are the ones towards Indiana and, of course, Ohio. Then we also have yesterday that was, while it wasn't a super active day, it was active enough. We even had a tornado report over here towards Louisiana where there was a marginal risk, and actually even today, as we speak now, we have a marginal risk as well over towards southern Texas. This is mainly going to be for hail, but there is a damaging wind threat to go along with that hail threat and a 2% tornado region as well. The thing is, though, as impressive as these days were and with all the weather that we have going on in the short term ahead, including these marginal risks, we're going to take a look at the long range here because that is looking pretty impressive here. So make sure you're smashing that like button, hit that subscribe button, and also hit that share button as well, because things are about to get more busy. So this is a look at the GFS model, and we also have the year over here to the bottom left corner here. But you can see that we're seeing a lot of activity with the jet stream here in the upper levels of the atmosphere. So this is a sign of things to come. So as we go through this loop here, you can see these numerous ridges and troughs coming through in this 16 day period here and within that 10 day period over here to the left. So that tells me automatically that we already will have at least a couple more chances. Now there's some really stout ones to make note of and I'm gonna actually pause this here, Oop, if I can. But this right here stands out to me in particular. This storm system on the 25th towards the 26th. Look at how this trough builds up slowly here and depending on how the warm sector pans out over this region here, we could be potentially looking at another big severe weather outbreak, maybe even a uh, Dixie Alley setup this time. Like I said, I still have some questions and I mean, we're getting close to 10 days out. So, I mean, it's a long way to go, but this is definitely a signal to keep an extra close eye on here. And there may even be some winter weather on the uh, backside of this too, as we continue to go forward. So, that coupled with this signal here like i said there's multiple chances of severe weather especially as we draw towards the end of the month keep in mind we do have a system that comes into play beforehand and i'm going to go back to that real quick just to make sure we see that as well and this is really what helped to be the catalyst for the setup that we ended up seeing over the last few days this cutoff low eventually will start to move at long last because it's been just hanging out over the southwest for the longest here but as we head towards the end of this week, we finally get that going in motion here. And this might pan out to be a Gulf Coast, maybe a Florida type setup, possibly, depending on how things pan out. But in either case here, we're looking at a very active pattern as we get close towards the end of the month and even into the start of April here. While I don't normally like to read into setups this far out, this is always the potential. This always has the potential of being a telltale sign of things to come here. And you definitely see a really strong trough here as we get towards the first of the month. So definitely a lot that we're going to need to be keeping track of over towards this region as we go over the next couple of weeks here. So in relation to what we were seeing with the ridging and the troughing, with ridging you're going to see those warmer temperatures pushing to the north. With that troughing you'll see those colder temperatures take a dive to the south here. So as we go forward with this map here, you'll see where those troughs are just based off what you're seeing like for example on here. And we do have the uh, map over here with the ridging and the troughing over here in the top left corner just for a point of reference, but you can see the troughing occurring out here towards the east and the ridging out towards the west. But as time goes on, you'll begin to see that little shift occur where we start to see more ridging towards the deep south and the southern plains. And eventually this works its way to the east. And with this constant shifting of the air masses here, this is gonna help a lot for our chances for our severe weather, especially with this system right here towards the 25th into the 26th. 
I'm seeing a lot of uh, signals over here at this current time that really would equate to a pretty stout frontal boundary that will end up forming here. Like I said, looking nine to 10 days out, can't have a lot of confidence in it, really have to look for continuity. But if that signal persists, then we could have some serious weather to talk about over the course of the next couple of days. And look at this right here. Even though we're past 10 days out here, looking towards the deep south, uh, time of Tuesday afternoon on the 26th those warm temperatures right there combined with where that frontal boundary is definitely could result in a pretty unstable atmosphere here so a lot to keep an extra close eye on in regards to the upcoming severe weather threat here so now we're going to go ahead and finally take a look at what our radar could look like here so now we're looking at the simulated radar and this is going to be a reflection of what could happen over the course of the next couple of weeks because but because of how far out we're looking it's kind of a rough estimate at this point but one thing that we can make note of for sure is the fact that it seems like more showers and storms will be possible over the deep south especially towards the gulf coast as we head through the weekend here more chances of rain to come down the line as well as a sneaky little cool down as we head from monday into tuesday here but by the time we get into Tuesday and Wednesday, we're starting to warm back up just a little bit here. As time goes on, we're going to be watching the Gulf Coast more so for our severe weather threat. But as we go further down the line, as we get towards that storm set I was talking about towards the 26th, look how dynamic this ends up being. I think towards the warm sector, we will have severe weather. Not the best signal for that right now, but there is a really strong winter weather signal with this as well. And then as we continue to go forward, we do see that severe weather potential start to increase as this storm system pushes off to the north and east. Still have my share of questions with that. And then another system right behind that likely to cause more significant weather, maybe even some flooding as well. And then some sneaky southern snow on the backside of it too. Like I said, this is only one model run that we're looking at here. And there's plenty more that we could look at to the point where it could literally take up the whole screen. So... A lot that we're going to have to still be looking at in regards to the long range with this setup. And then here's another slew of storm systems to follow up on that as we get from the end of March into the start of April, including this big storm system here to start out next month here. So a lot to keep an eye on here. Make sure you're staying tuned to the channel. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you have that bell on so that way you can be notified of every video, including the live streams, which I would hate to say and I guess I while I enjoyed it at the same time I also hate to say that I'm going to be doing more of because if we have anything like what happened on Thursday yeah it's not going to be the most fun stream to see damage but anyway that being said hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you found it useful you, you did you know what to do but that being said take care of yourselves I will see you guys really soon until then Todd Metalhead Weatherman signing off have a good night